Huggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day, who knows why, he thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come, hurry, hurry, run, run, run. And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. The very next day, at half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf, wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for Farmer says, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please. No one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then. I'll never, ever lie again. The most important thing to do is Always, always tell, tell the, the truth! truth. <laughs>
to the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. How do you do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh-huh. 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 Said 
Red Little Red Riding Hood I must run! Uh-huh, uh-huh I'm expected at Granny's at half past one Uh-huh, uh-huh She said good day And she walked away But the big bad wolf knew a faster way Uh-huh came to Granny's house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Then in came Little Red Riding Hood. Uh-huh. Dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, what great big ears you have. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have. The wolf said, Better to eat you with. He never came back. Uh-huh. 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 We're safe now, Granny! The little girl said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They ate the cookies happily, and that's the end of our story. Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And, and all they do is play while the ants work all day. Oh, 
The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped, they wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The grasshopper said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs>is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast, 
But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue the day of the big, big race. The hare, she laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough. The day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed. The day of the big, big race. Just five minutes, not a minute more. And it wasn't long before the boastful hare began to snore. The day of the big, big He was strong the day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs. Let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped. And still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right. Just as gold he settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Gold he went up 
stairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep, three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby. And they ate it all up, ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby. And they broke it. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And there she is. There she is. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter down the stairs and through the door. Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah.
Hey, do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do, and it's my favorite. Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here. arrived at Grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay, dear. Thank you, thank you, Lumberjack. I hope that wolf won't ever come back. Where's my grandma? Where could she be?
just the way it is. No, please troll. Don't eat me. I'm just small and tiny. If you want to eat someone, wait a bit. My brother's much bigger, I must admit. Hmm. Okay, you can go. Poor. 
porridge. That's too cold. Baby bear's porridge. Huh. Mm, just right. After Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for baby bear's chair, and so... So decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Lee. 